Virgo, welcome back to my channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, welcome. Please smash that like button and subscribe if you enjoy the reading. Keep in mind this is going to be a general reading. Some messages may or may not be for you. This is a channel for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, but all signs are welcome. And if you would like to get a personal reading, go ahead and book it. It may still say only accepting new clients. Just ignore that. I cannot seem to remove that. You can book your reading. If you've never booked before with me, go ahead and book. Okay, so first card out of the gate. Not today, not dealing, avoiding a conversation, a call, a person, putting up boundaries. You're just not talking to anybody. You might be hanging up on telemarketers or um, just whomever. There go like month of July, especially the end of June going into July. You're just not dealing um with anything or anyone okay so you have hmm welcoming love meeting the one and camera hmm okay a couple of different energies here virgo <clears throat> let me just see here um, I, there, there is an energy of maybe looking at some pictures or being reminded of the past or being reminded of maybe somebody who you felt like had the key to your heart. Um, you might have felt like you were meeting the one. But anyway, you're overall just like, I don't know, I just feel like you are not dealing with any or you are meeting somebody and you are not taking calls from anybody else. Okay, you may be meeting someone as well. Okay, so I like that for you. Okay, let's get into the rest of this reading here. All right, let's see. What is going on with Virgo? Okay, Virgo's on fire. Virgo, you are on fire. Your passions are roaring. Um, you're trailblazing. You're going after your passions, chasing your dreams, doing some pretty cool stuff. Really taking, like, I don't know, I just feel like you're really getting into your feels in July and going on some kind of adventure or doing some adventurous things in July. Okay. You are, yeah, I feel like you're kind of like really not even, you're putting a lid on your emotions. I feel like you're not even really getting into any kind of emotional state. You're just taking some action in your life. Okay, in July, maybe you're taking a trip, Virgo, or you're going somewhere, you're doing something. I kind of just feel like you just don't want to talk to anybody. You just don't want to communicate with anyone. <laughs> you know what? You might even just be like, not looking at those past pictures, you know, and just kind of like putting the key into your own keyhole, Virgo. Looks like you're going solo for sure. Now, you might have um, a, a water sign that is very passionate about you as well. Okay, let me see. So, what do you got on your mind here, Virgo? You're thinking about something. Let me see here. Thinking about investing some money into something. Let me see. Yeah. I, I feel like you've got something going on here where you are um, you're waiting for something. Um, waiting for this is like delayed success all the effort and energy that you've invested financially into something you're waiting for this payout to come okay all right and you've got the king of cups here so uh, waiting for some type of success with the king of cups cancer scorpio pisces okay so yeah hmm there's something being delayed here with the King of Cups. Okay. That's interesting. Hmm. All right. The story is breaking through now. Okay. I'm getting my impression here. Um, there is a, there, okay. So there is a Queen of Cups. Uh, I feel like it's the same person, quite frankly. Okay. As far as like other people. Uh, feminine or masculine energy this person might kind of dip between both energies but I feel like this person is very passionate about you has a lot of physical passion <laughs> on fire for you but they're delaying something here okay 
What is going on? Why are they delaying? They're waiting for something. Something is delayed to come towards you is what I'm feeling. Okay. Why? Because I, I do feel like there's like a, a huge rush of energy and fire, even lusty energy, but they are they're holding back. Oh, okay. Well, this person's like kind of trapped in um, some kind of psychological or mental struggle. Yeah, Nine of Swords, Eight of Swords to the Nine of Swords. Yeah, I feel like if you had a connection, this King of Cups just kind of is like stuck. They're stuck on you, but they're stuck at the same time, okay? That's the overall message. They, I, I don't know if they just think that you're like not talking to them. Um, you're not looking back on pictures. You're not kind of reminiscing about anything. Um, you don't want to. I feel like this person wants to, but they're trapped. They're trapped in something. They're not moving. They're like, look at this energy. Even just, they're just him and Han. They're stuck. Like, I don't know. They got some stuff going on here. This King of Cups. They got some mental struggle. Okay. But there's definitely this passion for you. And like, I do feel like this person is really taking a look at their feelings. Um, but they're really just having a hard time seeing through the lid that's on their feelings. Okay, they've been closed off, um, maybe an avoidant or emotionally unavailable type of energy from this person. Okay, so you also have the Knight of Pentacles showing up here in July. So there is going to be some type of an offer that comes into you um, from an emperor. Okay, definitely. There's an offer for like... Um, or a reward for some hard heart uh, for some work that you've done um, for a, a, you're receiving some kind of a bonus or reward for being reliable being on time being a hard worker being a good worker from um, someone higher up okay so you're definitely going to be getting that okay um, and if you are a boss or an owner um, you'll be getting some kind of I don't know award or a gift of some sort maybe even on the job or doing something for a really you, there is some kind of recognition okay in either direction that i feel like you'll be receiving in july let me see what else you can tell virgo about this yeah for all your success for all the success everything that you've done um in your career in your job there's some kind of recognition an award a ceremony a celebration um you might even get something like a bonus or you're going to get something in the mail it could even be a promotion um a new job offer or a, a pay upgrade or promotion i said promotion something like that in regards to the sun energy and it's going to be like put out into the open um, so a lot of people are going to know about it is what I'm feeling. Um, and I'm also catching this, um, yeah, it's all about some kind of success, something that you've achieved, maybe a trophy or a plaque, some kind of achievement from someone for something that you've done or you created either by a, a higher up or given to you by your subordinates if you're a higher up this is amazing so you're receiving something definitely look at that wow <laughs> nine of pentacles i mean this is 100 percent um luxurious this whatever this thing is that you're getting it holds value this thing you're receiving it holds value virgo could be money increase in pay like i said there's definitely something happening here in july this is pretty awesome maybe you'll get a plaque with your name on it or something along those lines salesman of the year whatever you know what i mean like that kind of thing some of you might be a diploma you receive a diploma in the mail <laughs> i don't know what that means but there's something like yes finally achievement celebration success um you could also be receiving um There's some kind of money. And then we said that yesterday, but this looks like it's going to come from maybe a grandfather or someone higher up as well. Okay. 
um, or a father figure, something along those lines. Okay, and you do have the fool. So I'm picking up some travel energy as well. I see you traveling. Um, you're taking some kind of risk as well in July. You're doing something completely off the cuff. From Well, now going into the month of July taking a huge risk going on some kind of a journey um, a new path you got a new beginning starting let me see okay you also have temperance so very beautiful energy this is coming into balance self-control and moderation there's like this some um, sense of peace I feel like you're going to experience in July where everything's just like pretty much neutral everything's good everything feels good it's like i'm just picking up neutral 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 zone neutrality um some of you going to get like your medication figured out it's going to be right as well um somebody's getting a job also in a lab working in a lab i'm hearing working in a lab some kind of scientific research of some sort, like a lab also. All right, let's see what else. Oh yeah, okay. Creating something, creating some kind of chemicals or medicines, maybe pharmacy or something, something where there's a mixture happening, some type of um, job or career, some kind of mix, mixing something up. Um, for some of you, this might have something to do with, I don't know why, they're just telling me like nuclear energy, uh, physics, something attached maybe to physics or pharmacy. I'm picking up like a pH, a physician, um, like a pH, maybe you get a PhD, you, gra you get your PhD, some of you maybe get that in July, um, or something comes to you, okay. So what else are they giving me here? This is a very random read. All right, you've got the Ten of Swords. Okay. All right, this is rock bottom. Okay, hitting some kind of rock bottom. Hmm. <clears throat> yeah, Virgo's like, I'm down, but I'm not out. No, 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 no. You have a situation where you might feel like... Now, I don't see you giving up, though. You, I feel like you get knocked down, but you get up. Does that make any sense? You get something knocks you down mentally, not physically knocks you down. OK, um, something mentally occurs also that kind of just knocks you down. But but you you get back up and you fight. You get back up and you fight. You don't quit. Maybe you get some news or something like that. Or you get some kind of, um, there might be a surgery that you're getting as well in July. Um, but it's like, yeah, I'm down for a minute, but I'm back up. I'm back up. I'm going to fight. I'm going to fight through this. Um, because you've got wands here, which represents physical action of some sort. So this could be like recovering from some kind of surgery, okay, as well. That kind of like levels you mentally in a way where you might feel like, can't do something you might feel some kind of betrayal as well but otherwise it's like you're not i don't see you being defeated you might like you know what i mean like you just hit a level um but you're not all the way the, like the ten of swords can be a complete and painful ending but virgo's like there are no endings unless i'm winning <laughs> that's the only way that the ending will happen is to me me to be like you're such a fighter virgo i don't know which virgo you are but you're a fighter so i see you fighting back okay somebody might try or an energy might i want to say an energy not so necessarily someone but an energy might try to just like take you out virgo's like i don't think so surprise and you get back up and you've got some you've got some uh You've got some energy. You've got some punch left in you. I was going to say Kool-Aid. <laughs> You've got some punch left. In you. You're like the Kool-Aid guy. Does anybody remember the Kool-Aid guy? He breaks through that wall. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Booyah. Virgo's like, nope. Come at me. <laughs> Not giving up. Okay. Not giving up till, till judgment day, you know. <laughs> Virgo, you got a fighting spirit in July. Good for you. Keep that. 
You're fighting all the way. You're fighting for some. You're fighting to not be a. Uh, to not come to the end because judgment is card number 20 and then after that is the world where the cycle's over you're not done here with something and you're fighting for you're fighting for something okay fighting for stability fighting for to make some kind of a change you want to do something and you've got an energy that's kind of going up against you that's saying uh giving you all the obstacles but you know that whatever this is like you have your clarity of purpose your your purpose is in alignment with what you want to do you have this wake-up call you make a final decision to fight for something to fight through something you could be fighting for your an inheritance fighting for um family fighting for stability fighting um to make some kind of a change there's a change a necessary transition that to come out of your comfort zone and not give up this fight to get where you need to be it's like you come to have clarity about whatever this is okay um whatever this is you might be fighting a company or a corporation like you're 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 standing up in a very powerful way in july i will tell you that and uh you have to do it it's necessary you're the key look heart with a key you have the key. You might be going to some meetings of some sort. Okay, some legal issue might be happening here as well. Something to do with the courts, lawyers. You might be fighting against that. Um, maybe you are a lawyer. Maybe you're fighting for someone. To Fighting for the truth as well is what I see. You've got the truth. You have the clarity. You know what to do. And it's a win for you. That's what the justice card is. Whatever this, whatever this legal thing is, or whatever this issue, this thing is, whatever you're fighting for, it may not even be in a court. For some, it could just be fighting for truth and justice. Whatever this is, it will be in your favor, the outcome. So I don't know, maybe you're an activist, you're doing something. It, you, it will be in your favor. Okay, that's what justice is. Justice will be served. That's what I'm hearing. Okay, what else does Virgo need to know? Okay, you've got the Hierophant. Traditional institutions, churches, corporations, uh, religion, hierarchies. What's going on with that? Okay. Queen of Swords showing up here, connected to that. Okay, the moon. Hmm, slicing through some, through some bull, slicing through some BS as well. There's something hidden that you um, are trying to get clarity about in regards to this Hierophant, <clears throat> either in regards to a marriage or committed uh, or some type of um, formal kind of institution or uh, hierarchy. There's something hidden about this. You get some clarity about some deception in regards to some kind of formal institution. Let me see. What is this clarity? Oh, I got the Ace of Cups. What the... Wow. Oh. Some of you are going to have your tubes tied. Or you're getting a hysterectomy. This is specifically for the females. The moon here represents the cycles of birth, the cycles of death. The moon is representing the hormones, the ovum. Uh, some of you, there's some type, it may be tubes tied, could be hysterectomy. There's something to do with the reproductive hormones here. There may also be um, an IVF procedure that uh, somebody has done that actually uh, goes through. The gift of birth comes from that. There's, there's a pregnancy. There's a baby. And there might also be um, a C-section. Now, it may not be you. It could be someone connected to you as well. Okay? There may also be the removal of an oddity. Okay?
okay that's successful okay just gotta take some medicine right little fluid drinky drink medicine for something okay for some of you this may be um it's a reproductive procedure in some way for sure whether that's giving birth or in whatever way whatever the outcome of that is obviously whatever the choice is um but there is something here to do with birth and the reproductive system you know and like i said it may not be you it could be somebody connected to you somebody might be trying to make a decision on not having a baby or not keeping a baby or something along those lines okay let me just see what else Um, there's also um, signing, uh, this is marriage, legal marriage, I'm also hearing as well. Um, and I'm also hearing um, two people who decide not to get married in some kind of a church of some sort, okay? Um, so you've got like the legal system in your country and then you've got God's law over here. Okay, so these two might be coming together in some way, might not. But I think the God's law thing, um, there's some clarity or truth coming out about that. Like that's religious law is what I mean to say. Some type of religious law. Um, there's communication or something going on about that. Because this Queen of Swords does represent a, um, an unmarried person or a divorced person. Okay. In connection with the Five of Pentacles. Uh, yeah, and the Queen of Pentacles. Somebody's um, hmm, trying to figure out if they can afford something here in, in connection to that. Looking at their finances, somebody may not be afford to um, be able to afford to have some kind of financial procedure done, whether that's uh, some kind of surgery, reproductive surgery of some sort. Yeah, there's there's going to have to be like some kind of charitable fund or um, sought out to be able to have something done here. Somebody needs some help, financial help, to do a procedure or to have something done here. Okay, these messages are very random. Just really didn't feel like getting into the love. I really felt like I wanted to really look and see what was going on with you in general. Okay, and a little bit of love there too. Like I said, you do have someone who is really crazy about you. Uh, crazy, like, but physically crazy about you but i don't know this, that person is struggling with coming forward they want to but they are like trapped or they're stuck in some kind of mental prison um uh, they can't move they're you know how like there's the people that have fear they can either either have fear like it's either fight flight freeze or fawn this person is in they're going to they're in freeze mode you know, some people, they get scared, they run away. Some people get scared, they fight back. Some people get scared and they freeze, they become paralyzed, like a deer in the headlights. Some people get scared and they, they, they fawn. <laughs> they try to make friends with their fear, right? This person's in freeze mode. They're stuck. I don't know why I'm going back to this, but I just feel like as whoever this person is, um, they have like some deep insecurities, self-imposed prisoner energies going on with that person. And this person is crazy about you. So, all right. Why do you have the Four of Pentacles here, Virgo? Okay. Ooh, look at how opposite these two cards are. This is like, stay, go, stay, go, stay, go. Virgo, you have a decision. You're not sure whether to stay or go. Do I stay and hold on to something here? Or do I just get in my car, set my GPS and take off? What's going on? You've got like some, these are two different, these are very opposing energies. Let's see, what's causing this? Look at that, indecision it showed up in the reverse, but there's a decision. You can't do both. You can't stay and go at the same time. You got to choose a lean, right? You're stuck, stalemate between two things about whether to stay or to go. You got to make a decision either got to compromise or make a decision to you got to choose what, what are you going to do you're in a stalemate that's what that two of swords is i see you trying to like figure out you're going within trying to make a decision trying to like trust your intuition a lot of people telling you a lot of different things in july but you you gotta you're like oh damn i don't know what to do 
You might be blocking everybody out at this time, you know, blocking people out, just kind of being like, all right, I get it. I hear you. I got to figure it out. Don't bother me. I got to, I got to figure it out. Let me see. What's this about? What is this decision? It may not even be stay and go. It just may be, for some of you, it's a should I or shouldn't I scenario. Should I or shouldn't I scenario. Whether Whatever that is. Should I do this or should I not do that? Should I say this? Should I not say that? This is not being, this is like I'm stuck. I don't know what to do. All right. What does Virgo need to do here? What's going on? Huh. You need to hold back. Yeah, you need to, um, you need to strategize. You really, like, you can't, don't. So I feel like the answer here is don't make just this decision because you're sick of being stuck. You need a game plan. You need to make your make a game plan. That's what the Nine of Wands is. And also you need to put up some boundaries first. I feel like you're kind of doing that, but let me see. Oh God, you got two different energies again, Virgo. Like you want to, you want to move forward so badly, but you're hesitant. You're so hesitant to either make this decision or reach out. You're hesitant to push something forward or you're hesitant to move yourself out of this situation and away from it. But you want to, you envision yourself doing it, but I just feel like in July, you're stuck. And I feel like you're stuck is because you don't, you can't see past the situation. Like, what's it going to look like if you decide to, um, go one particular direction? How's it going to look long term? And then how's it going to look long term if you stay where you are? That's what you're failing to see. You're you're not um, you're struggling with seeing like ten steps ahead, and so that's why you're stuck. That's what I feel like is going on here. Yep, look at all this, unbelievable. Okay, so the hangman is here, and that that basically is like okay, this is a waiting period, and that's what you're in right now is this waiting period because you don't know what to do. But this is needing enlightenment. Look at his head. Look at the glow around his head. This is telling you to kind of see this, see it from a different angle. That's why you can't figure out what to do. You need a new angle. You need spiritual enlightenment. You need a new angle. That's going to help you get out of this situation. Now, for some of you, this is if you're stuck in something and you can't move out of it, you need to find a w different way to see it. And then you won't be trapped anymore. So I don't know exactly what that means for you. If you're in a job, for example, that is just horrible, but you can't leave it right now, or you're in maybe some kind of family situation, it's horrible, you can't leave it right now, it's only going to get worse. So like if basically if you're trapped in a box, it's going to just get worse and worse if you keep reminding yourself of how you're trapped in a box. Every day you keep telling yourself, I'm trapped in a box, I'm trapped in a box. It just, it becomes hopeless. But if you find a way to say, you know what? Yeah, I already know I'm in this box, but you know, I'm really getting some rest here. Like nobody's bothering me. I'm in this box. It's dark. It's quiet. I can ra rest, relax. Nobody needs anything from me. This is actually really great. Now I'm just using this as an example. Change the way you're seeing the situation. If you're in a job that's like really detrimental to your health, you got to find a different way to be there. That's what I'm saying. Because you're kind of like unable to move even though you want to. And even though you can see how things are going to look, uh, even though you struggle how to see how things are going to look 10 steps ahead of you, um, that's because you're focusing so much. You got to open, you got to release these locks. You're focusing so much on how bad it is. You can't, you got to find the silver lining on that and that will help release you. Does that, gosh, I hope that makes sense because I really sound like I'm talking in circles, you know. It's basically like making the best of a bad situation right now. That's what I'm hearing. 
Um, now listen, caveat, if somebody's beating the shit out of you, no, there's no thinking and making the best of that situation. That is, call the police and get the hell out of there, okay? So please do not think that that's what I'm talking about because I am absolutely not talking if you're in a physically abusive situation that, oh, I'll just try to make the best of it. No, 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 no. That's not what I'm saying. If you're in that situation, listen to our reading, trying to figure out what to do, you're in the wrong place in your life. There is no tarot reading for that. The answer for that is get out. Okay. Caveat. Leaving it there. Very strong message. So, you know, this is just for uh, situations that are not detrimental. Okay, you've got the devil. Hello, devil. What's going on here? Why is the devil here? Oh, Hmm, devil's making you work right now. You're struggling, but you're coming out to the end of that struggle. Yeah, there's something here. You're working for the devil. You're putting so much effort and energy, and you're busting your butt. You're busting, you're physically, like, physically feeling the effects of that. Right, with that devil energy there. That's the one who's running the show. Some of you might be like, um, <sighs> some of you, some of you might be in some kind of recovery program. You're working really hard at it. And I just want to give you like kudos for that. You're, you're, if you're doing, if you're, if you're in some kind of recovery program and you're doing the foot, you're doing, you know, you're walking the walk, not just talking the talk, like you're really putting in the effort. I want to give you, like, it's hard, but you're coming to the end. It's going to start getting easier for you. I just have to tell somebody, like, let me give you your coin or something. Like you're working for that coin. You're working for that another 60 days, 30 days, six years, 30 years, whatever. You're working on something here. It's a daily battle. The devil is always right around the corner but you're conquering okay you're conquering and devil's always right around the corner trying to tempt you and uh, drag you back in you need to be reminded of that don't think that you know once you feel the further you get away from that devil energy that's the time he attacks you because then you feel like confident you got to stay humble you got to always stay humble the devil always sneaks up on the ones who are confident and cocky like are not confident but overly confident and they don't keep it green they forget where they come from and then boom it sneaks right up on them so if that's you virgo or if that's the the path you're on now that it could be anything overcoming some kind of really bad habit or addiction um some of you have been working so hard to keep that addiction going and spending all your money going to work spending all your money on those habits those bad habits are wearing you down they're going to pile up on you all right so maybe you're going to be thinking about like you got to give a certain thing up you're spending too much money or you're doing a certain thing too much and it's like killing your bank account you're working you're living just for this thing um making some changes okay you've got the king of wands and you've got the star okay so let's see what's going on here what else is going on here oh page of cups in the reverse so that's interesting a page of cups in the reverse is um this is some kind of a breakup hmm let's see All right, two different messages here. Some of you are breaking up with an, a King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and it's um, or there was a breakup and there's renewal and healing with the King of Wands. That's what I feel like. Or if you're going to be breaking up with this person, there will be a renewal going forward in Ju in July, where there's some kind of healing between the two of you. Okay, might have broken up for immature behavior. Someone's just acting like a real brat. Um, this might be someone that you were very dependent on or vice versa. Okay. Um, there's definitely like a healing, um, or a renewal. All right. Now you've got the King of Pentacles here. Um, there's also a breakup of two guys, two guys breaking up a friendship. Um, or there was a breakup of a friendship, but there's healing of that friendship or maybe a romantic relationship. There's healing, um, in that relationship coming in july as well 
there's no real apology because I feel like there's two people who are like, you know, we're not going to just apologize. We're just, you know, we're just going to like, yeah, it's good. It's good. We're good. It's kind of like that energy. There's none of this. Yo, I'm really sorry. None of that. This is more like seeing each other and just be like, it's fine. Forget it. It's all good. <laughs> I don't know. This could be two brothers. It's two guys. They're just feeling that there's two guys who are, they were at odds with each other. And now they're, they're going to like no longer be at odds with each other. Okay. Maybe it's you. Maybe you have two sons, two brothers, or, you know, two guys. Maybe it's your friend um, or something along those lines. Okay. The page of swords is here as well with, ooh. Oh, wow. watch out, Virgo. You got some gossiping Nancys around you. Okay, you got some gossipers. There's some friends you here. Uh, someone is spying on you or they're talking about you. They're talking about you. Some people in your external to you. Maybe some sisters. Uh, there's some females talking about you they're watching you and they're talking about one's coming back and giving all the information <laughs> oh yeah what's going on here they're talking about you online those bitches okay oh huh. what are they talking about they're saying that you um think you're too good for everybody what that's not nice but virgos are too good for everybody so what are you gonna do they think that you're maybe kind of a snob. They invite you to go places or they want you to go somewhere and they invite you and you're, it looks like in July you refuse. You're like, nah, you see, look, they hold three cups. That's them. Come on, come out for drinks or come, come do something with us. And Virgo's like, no, or I don't know, or I'll let you know. And I feel like they're kind of like talking about you, about that. Like, who do you think you are in July? Why aren't you going to come out with us? Why don't you want to, we're making plans or we want to do this trip or we're going to do something. They're very curious, you know, and they're talking about you amongst each other. Like, what's wrong with Virgo? Why isn't Virgo going to do this? What's going on? They're trying to get the information. <clears throat> Excuse me, because you kind of look like you're like blocking, like you don't want to. And why? I'm almost through this entire deck. Why doesn't Virgo want to um, go or be with these people or do anything with them or make these plans? Okay. Well, you're trying to change something here in your life. Or you got something else better going on. What? Oh, it looks like you might be connecting with someone or you want to spend time with your mother Connect or connecting with... Um, Hmm. Some of you, this is something to do. Like you want to see your mother. You want to, I don't know. Wait a minute. Or <laughs> for some Virgos are like, you know what? Y'all are a bunch of maidens and I'm an empress. I don't hang with the peasants. Go have your fun. Go on. <laughs> Virgos like, I'm sorry. Um, beauty queens uh, do not hang with uh, the peasants. I'm sorry. Yeah. Virgo's like, I have to get my makeup done. I'm getting all, you know, no, 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 no. I'm not hanging out with you people who are just like, hang, look at the clothing you are all wearing. And I'm wonderful. Virgo's, that's why they're kind of like, Virgo, she's such a snob. <laughs> Virgo. Anyway, back to the story. Um, okay. Okay. Um, All right, for the Virgo ladies, for my feminines here, uh, you're getting married. You're going to be a bride <laughs> in July. Now, do you already know this? Is this already a plan? Because I'm seeing a bride in July, and I'm seeing um, bridesmaids now. There's a wedding a bride and bridesmaids or you are asked to be a bridesmaid or in or in a bridal party and you don't want to be in it that's another message you don't want to be a part of it or you're not going to a wedding in july 
um, somebody might be curious if you're going to come to their wedding and you might get an invitation or something and you might say no, you might decline it, which would be a surprise to someone as well. But for others, you may be a bride in July, okay? And um, you're being very specific with who you want in your wedding as well. Uh, you need four bridesmaids and the fourth one is saying no so you're just going to have three that's for the ladies okay if you were a guy and you're invited to a wedding you may turn it down a and a woman too you may turn it down and say yeah, you can't go or it's too i don't know something about it it's it's far away could be far away or it's at a distance as well okay so let's get down to the end of this here you do have the world so some kind of lesson being completed you're finishing something some of you are finishing a book that you've been writing or reading could be like a very long novel you're finishing what else here okay you've got the hermit <clears throat> you've thought hard, long and hard about something i see um something you've gone through some kind of grief thing here perhaps in the past five months now we're going into the seventh month of the year um and it looks like you um are coming out of some grief period here you have maybe been alone or have been in hermit mode with your grief you're you were in mourning you went into a mourning period in the beginning of the year you're coming out of this okay your mourning period is over. Your grief period is over. Grieving um, someone or a thing, a person, place, or a thing. It's coming to an end. And some of you are going back to work after a very long recovery period. Maybe you had long COVID and you couldn't work or something along those lines. Okay. Oh, and some of you, there is a child or a grandchild. Somebody's cheating on, on tests at school or something or will be. Like, I mean, it's July. July school's over for some. Um, you may find out that there was a child or a teenager or someone was cheating at school or doing something. You may get some kind of notification. I don't like to give those messages, but um, cheating on some tests or, or you know, doing something cheating something i mean why you're finding this out in july i don't know and if this does happen in july or happens now feel free to leave me a comment yeah there's something to do with a child or a kid grandchild adopted child or niece or nephew cheating doing something okay oh 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 my gosh Okay, this is going to sound insane. There is a child in your element somewhere who is either stealing money from the school or taking money maybe out of your pocket or out of pa some parents' pockets. And they were Peter Panning. Not Peter Panning. Is it Peter Panning? Not Peter Panning. They were giving, they were taking the money and and giving it to other kids who couldn't afford food. They were doing some kind of humanitarian thing. That's what's going to come to you. That is such a weird message. This child was trying to help other people or was stealing money from somewhere and was and was helping poor people with it. That's the message. The child might be getting accused of this, but it comes to be found out that this is, they might even been stealing from someone you're connected to, and, but it's found out that they were, they were putting, dropping it in like the homeless uh, cups or something, or charity, giving it to charity. What is that? Robbing from, what is that? Who did that? Not Peter Pan. It was uh, Robin Hood. Robin Hood. I don't know why I said Peter Pan, but Robin Hood. There's a little Robin Hood here. 
Stealing from the rich to give to the poor. Yeah, you're going to find out about this. At least, I think, in July. The rich, the studious, stealing from an architect or a banker or stealing from their friend, a rich friend, or taking money or being given money for school lunches and things like that and, you know, not buying the lunch, but, you know, giving it to others who needed it more than than this this kid did. This kid is it feels more well off than others. My God, my heart. My heart. <laughs> that just is like, oh, go ahead and steal. Like, hug that kid. Seriously, hug this child for having such a big heart and for being so servicing and humble and, and wanting to help others. This is such a strange message. It just came out of the blue, you guys. I literally sat down. And I was like, what am I going to do? I don't, I'm not feeling like I need to do anything particular. And then I just heard, just let the messages flow. Just let the messages flow. Don't do anything in particular. Don't try to just don't stay on any one particular topic. Just let it come out. And I, I like it. I like it because I feel like there's a little bit of something here for everybody. It's not just, it's not just love. It's a little bit of everything. And as a matter of fact, it's 48 minutes. So I'm not going to dive. See, there's my sign. I'm not going to dive into anything else with this reading right now because I just kind of was like go with the flow tonight that was my energy that's how I was feeling so I'm going to leave that there for you I hope that brings you some enlightenment definitely leave a comment below let me know if you resonate with any of this I would love to hear and I will see you guys back here tomorrow for your weekend outlook all right thanks have a great night bye